Happy Friday and welcome to class. Today we will be learning how to use and create and share our Vokies. So first things first, I want you to go to Vokey.com and I want you to um, create your own login account. Okay, and so um, if you have not had a, developed an account before, that's okay. I'm going to pretend I don't have one and I'm going to say sign up here. That way I can show you how to sign up for free. So I will have Mick and then I'll have Evans and we will use my hclc.info um, email. I will make a password that I know I will not forget and I will record that in my agenda book because I don't want to forget it and sometimes our brains just stop working. I'm going to say I'm a student because that's what I want you to say. I'm going to share my birthday. Um, if you're not quite 13 yet, preferably if you could say you were 13 that would be extremely helpful. Um, so that way you have the rights to share your Vokies. Um, so I'm going to come down here and say 2002 and I don't want a Vokey newsletter so I'll just say sign up. Oh, and I forgot that I've already used that email. So I'm going to use my other Gmail account um, <laughs> just because I want to show you how to do this. As soon as I've created that, it'll give me my login information. You know what's really smart is if you take a screenshot of that. And so remember, if you press Control, Shift, New Screen button, you can take a screenshot as well. And that's really helpful. And so then I have it there. All right, proceed to my account. Um, and then if you can't remember how to log in, you can log in from there. I'm going to pretend um, that I'll use the one that I made last night because that one is also logged up as a student for me. So HCLS, the other one is a teacher account, um, which I can't do a lot with anymore. So I'm going to come in, and you can see I was playing with it last night, but I'm going to say create new, and you're just going to have that option of create new. Once I come to create new, I will see my options of being creative. So this is the, the man that was given to me. Obviously, if I don't want that individual, I'm going to have to choose somebody else, okay? And so I'll go through and try to find an individual I do want. Maybe I want to make a Jesus folky, okay? And so I've got, I've got Jesus on my side this Friday, so that's a wonderful thing. Um, after I've chosen him and I'm happy, I can decide, like, hey, do I want... Um, oh, these are just different categories. All right, so we've got our famous people. We've got our funny pumpkins. So these are all different categories. So once you have what you want, great. Then you can come and you can dress your person. I like Jesus. I personally like Jesus's robes, but if I wanted to change things up on him, I could. As you can see, there's lots of options. I could give him a different mustache if I wanted um, and put that on Jesus. For some reason, it's not wanting to add it. That's interesting. Um, so typically, <laughs> you can change things. Um, by clicking on them. But if they're grayed out, they're not options. So see how we have like um, certain things that are grayed out? That means that they're not options. Um, and so when you click on them, the different styles come here, and that's when you can change them. With a free account, it does have some bummers, um, and that is there's not as many options. So you can see Jesus just has this one hairstyle, and that's it. His clothing options, he just has the tunic. So I don't have as many options. Now backgrounds, I don't have to have them hanging out here, so I can come and choose whatever background I like best that I think looks like you know, that looks pretty good for a Jesus background, okay? Now, when it comes to our planet project, you're going to want to choose a background that looks like you're on a spaceship or like we just landed on your planet. You're going to want to choose that. Today, you can just play around, okay? Also, we want your um, planet stewardess or stu and or steward to look professional. That's important. And if you had a planet ambassador, they too should look professional. Obviously, I'm talking too much. Jesus just rolled his eyes on me. So here's where you can affect things. Like if I wanted his lip color to change and be really bright, I could. That's obviously kind of terrifying. So we're going to go back to more natural. But yes, as you can see, you can affect things if it's not grayed out. Again, the free option is a bummer because there's just not as many things to do, but it's still a lot of fun. Now, when you get to the point where you're actually going to type in your information, and to, um, today you're just going to type, uh, have it say something interesting or funny as long as it's appropriate. And so I could say, hello, my name is Jesus. I am here to save the world. So, go Jesus. If I wanted to listen to that. Hello, my name is Jesus. I am here to save the world. You can see that's a little creepy because Jesus shouldn't sound like Julie from the U.S. Maybe he should sound like Dave. Hello, my name is Jesus. 
I am here to save the world. Still a little creepy, but a little more accurate. So I could leave him as Dave from the U.S. As you can see, you do have a lot of options and you have different languages. Hello, um, my name is Jesus. I Hello, my name is... So once you choose what you want, that's great. Today, again, if you choose a different language, that's fine. However, um, when we do our planet projects, obviously, I shouldn't have to say this, but obviously, um, you need to use English. Now, when you come to, re you could also choose to record your own voice. This allows you not to have to worry about the co computer phonetically pronouncing things correctly. Um, in this case, the typing might be best because I can choose a man's voice, but I could also just click on the microphone and then click on the record button. Hello, my name is Jesus. I am here to save the world. As you can see, you only get 60 seconds. That's important to note. Hello, my name is Jesus. I am here to save the world. Okay, and so you can record your voice. As soon as you are happy with what you have done, um, you can save that recording um, as an audio upload. Okay, um, I mean, you can, yeah, so you can upload things that you've already recorded on your computer. That's also an option. So we have lots of different options that you can go with. I'm going to go with Dave from the U.S. Um, as, as you can see, I just thought it sounded the best. Now, here's a really important thing to notice. Did you notice how my typed text went away? Notice how important that is. I would type all of your Vokey scripts in a Google Doc first. I repeat, any script that you want the Vokey to say, type it in a Google Doc first. Don't roll your eyes at me, Jesus, this is important, because otherwise all that work will go away. If you type it in a Google Doc first, you can always copy and paste it in. So please notice how important that is, okay? So once you have all of those things done, um, it is time to start figuring out how to save and share. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on save. I'm going to give it the G character name of Jesus, I'll say save. As soon as I've saved my Vokey, it takes a minute, so be, be patient with that. It comes here to this screen. This is where I can share my Vokey. The easiest way to share your Vokey is by getting the copy or URL, the chain link. And then I have my tiny URL here. I'm gonna press Control C to copy it, or I can press co copy URL. As soon as I have that, then I can come to my Google Classroom stream and I can make a new post, okay? I can come and I can post that URL right here and now everybody's gonna get to see my Jesus Vokey. So again, keep them appropriate, but have fun exploring today.